Hello, this is Tony Tornado. If you like my video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to share it around with your friends, and most importantly, leave a comment down below. I want to hear what your thoughts are. What is going on, everybody? On YouTube, it's Tony Tornado, yeah! Yes, for my regular viewers, yes, 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 I got a haircut. Do you guys like it? I actually really like it. I think I'm going to keep it like this for a while. By the way, if you haven't seen the most recent video, please go watch it. It's about my computer. If you haven't followed me on Twitch, the link is down below because we're going to be using this thing for a lot of Twitch streams, guys. So make sure, make sure that you are following me on Twitch. The link is down below, Tony Tornado Live. Okay, guys, so I was not sure about making this video. Like I said before, I was very... Uh, what's the word? Um, on the fence about it? Because fries is such a good store to me. I loved fries. I, I still love fries. But, and I probably still would go back and get it. If I ever had to get another computer built like this one, I probably still would go back and get one built by them. But I do feel like it's my responsibility to make a video about what happened. So, I'm going to break this down for you guys really short and sweet so that way you guys can understand. But I'm going to make sure to include every detail in my experience with fries, okay? So for everyone that didn't see the video of me breaking the computer, the very next day I went down to the fries in Las Vegas. Right there on Las Vegas Boulevard, which for people that don't live in the area, Las Vegas Boulevard is the strip, basically. That's what it is. Las Vegas Boulevard is the strip. So it's right there on the strip. Um, my first day I went in there, I remember now, it was like 6, 7 o'clock at night. So they were about to close because they close at like 9, 8, 9 o'clock, depending on the location. I'm pretty sure it was 9. We were walking around and I told myself that I would just, um, I would just, you know, try to get all the things picked out that I wanted for my computer. And that's what I did. I walked around the entire store, tried to pick out stuff that I wanted. Now, the first, I was in that store uh, from 6 o'clock until almost closing time. It was like 8.45, I think it was. 8.45 to 9 o'clock. So it was literally like almost closing time, guys. It was just, um, it was crazy. Sorry, just adjusting my chair here. So literally... Um, it was crazy. So I walked around the store and I found the pieces that I was kind of on the fence about. Like I think I wanted them, like the graphics card and stuff like that. Like I knew I wanted that. Um, and this one guy finally came to help me like a couple hours later. A couple hours later, guys. That's, the, that's what I'm talking about here. Uh, a couple hours later, he came up to me. And I don't remember his name exactly, but he came up to me and said, uh, Sir, do you need any help with anything? I said, well, I do need a lot of help um, with what I want. I'm not sure exactly what I want in a gaming computer. And I told him what I do with it and what I'm going to need it for. And he basically told me there was no point in spending a lot of money on a computer if I was just going to stream the Internet with it. And... <laughs> I don't know, that guy must have just started at the at Fry's because that was just weird. So I'm not going to really worry about that. But then this guy, but to add to what he did, this guy came up to me when, uh, when he was done talking to me. Like 10 minutes or so later, he came back up to me. He's like, by the way, do you want to purchase a warranty with your motherboard? And I was just like... Why, why are you just trying to sell me a motherboard? Like, it, I don't know. At first, I felt like he didn't know what he was talking about. And then he came back to me trying to sell me a warranty for the motherboard. And I was just like, I don't believe in warranties, so I didn't buy a warranty. You know, that's just not... You know, warranties are rich people things, in my opinion. So I didn't buy a warranty. So I really believe if you take care of your stuff, you don't need a warranty. And... By the way, I'm sorry if I keep itching myself. Like it's it's the it's my dog's dander. Like I just it makes my whole body itch for some reason. So I'm really sorry that I keep touching my face. But anyway, so fries get back on subject here. Fries closed that night, and we went back the next morning. Okay, 
Well, no, uh, fast forward back to the night before, sorry. Go back to the night before. Before we left, a, a guy did help me, and he was really nice. This guy was after the first guy. He came up to me, and he said he would sit me down, on the, and he went up to his customer service computer, and he uh, basically... He basically typed in everything I wanted, or at least thought that I wanted, and, and came up with a lot of good stuff that I could put in the computer. And he printed it all off on a paper for me. It was a quote. And he said, here, man, this this will be everything, because he has a computer uh, similar to mine, I guess. And I told him I need it for Twitch streaming and YouTube and stuff like that. And he said, here you go. Like, just ha just come back with this paper, and the computer will be built just this way. All you got to do is come back with the paper and you bring the paper uh, to the uh, co customer service area where they build the gaming computers. And I said, okay, that sounds awesome. So we left that night and came back the next morning. I'm thinking, oh man, this next morning is going to be simple. It's going to be nothing at all. And it's going to be painless. And boy, was I wrong. We got there at 9.30. The store opened at 9 o'clock. And when we got there, I walked right over to the, the desk that he told me, the customer service desk. And... Uh, the this lady in there gave me I don't know if she was just mad because she was working today or something but she gave me the biggest attitude she she I said hey uh, I had this computer built and I was just wondering uh, when can you guys start building it she looked she looked right at the piece of paper and goes uh uh you got to go back to the elect the electronics section and have a customer service associate gather up all these parts for you and then ring them up at the counter and then you bring them here and I was like okay well whatever it didn't seem like that big of a deal at the time so I went over the electronic section and they they were they weren't really busy I like I was first in line and all of a sudden they started waiting on all these other people and it started to really tick me off and this one guy he was trying his best to get my pieces together but I just felt really uh, really mad guys because by the time he finished gathering up all my pieces and I was standing in line it was 12 o'clock. I was in that store till 12 o'clock without even getting my computer built. And that's not the worst thing, okay? It turned out that the guy, the, the guy that was nice the night before, he was nice, and maybe he didn't know this, but he put pieces on the computer in the quote that they didn't even have in the store. And I was kind of upset about that. Like my hard drive, for example, they didn't have the six terabyte hard drive. So I had to get an eight terabyte hard drive because I wasn't going down because I needed a big hard drive. Um, and the one thing that really sucks, too, was this was the thing that really ticked me off was the girl that waited on me at the counter uh, when I was ringing everything up and putting it on the fries card in my cash. She told me that in order... Uh, she went back. It was some kind of processor chip that came in the card, uh, in, in the motherboard. It was a four-core card. It was supposed to make uh, rendering and everything else faster. And she went back there, and she pulled out a used piece and told me that she asked me, was this okay? It was refurbished. And I said, uh, no. Are you going to give it to me for half price? Are you going to give it to me for half price? Because if not, I'm not putting... Like this is a this wasn't this is a warehouse guys fries is an electronic warehouse okay but they don't they're not supposed to put used pieces in my in my uh, computer and I called the manager over and I said let me ask you something are we gonna have any problems here are we gonna have any problems with this I said your assistant just tried to put uh, tried to sell, give me the four core used chip to put in my car uh, in my computer. I said, what is wrong with you? I said, do you realize the money I'm spending on this computer? You're not giving me a free warranty, are you? Uh, so you better go back there and find something that's new. I couldn't believe, I just could not believe the way that I was treated. And then basically once all that stupid crap was said and done and they found all the pieces that were rightfully mine and I ordered for the computer, then they rung me up, I paid for the stuff, finally... And it was about 12.30 to 12, it was like 12.05 to 12.30 that I was finally done gathering everything in the store, ringing it up, which all should have been done. In my opinion, it should have all been done way before that. There is no reason that a customer that comes into a store that spends the dollar figure that I spent on a computer has to wait three hours for customer service 
to just get all my stuff and then bring it over to the Fry's uh, computer building station where I gave, and I had no problem with the building center at all. The guy took my paper, he took all the stuff. He told me it'd be six hours, and he was right. It was six hours. I came to pick it up, and it was done. And I just, <laughs> I couldn't believe it. And the thing, the thing is, I didn't want any kind of discount. I just wanted an apology. But the fact that the manager and no one else even offered me a discount for, the, for all the shit that I just went through, that to me was very unprofessional and very, uh, very, uh, <laughs> it, it was not right. It just wasn't right. I mean, right from the start, writing me up a quote, giving me all this, putting all the pieces on there that weren't even in the store. Then they tried to put a refurbished card in my computer. Oh, I was, I was loaded, guys. I was so mad. And then I had to go back to the store the next day, which was fine because they closed. But then I had to wait three hours when the lady should have just took my paper and got all my pieces and did it herself. But instead, they made me go through all that stuff for three hours before they even started building the computer. And then I went back to Fry's, like I said, it was 12, it was somewhere between 12 and 12.30, and I went back there at 6 to 6.30 to pick my computer up. So it was literally another whole day that it took. I just, guys, it was like unbelievable. It was unbelievable. I went off on the people in there, like I was screaming at them, I was so mad. And then, it's just, oh boy guys. So, to make this story short, I've never had a problem with fries before. I've been going to fries since I've lived on the west coast. I love fries, and the only time I had problem with fries was with this computer, and I don't understand why it was such a hard thing, because <laughs> I literally feel like I just I'm sorry I feel like the money that I spent and the crap they put me through that they, they didn't even offer me a discount and they didn't even offer to get my computer done at a faster uh, faster pace and the guy didn't even really apologize he just kinda looked at me and was like well this takes time and I'm like um, I've been here for how long I've been standing in line like what <laughs> What else do you want me to do? Uh, I, I'm a really nice person when it comes to customer service too. Like I understand that things happen, but there was no reason for that to take that long, guys. There was no reason for it to take that long. So, would I go back and have my computer build at Fry's again? Um, well, because they're the only electronic warehouse in all of Las Vegas that I know of, um, yeah, I probably would, but my issue is um, if I ever had this if I ever had to have a computer built again and go to Fry's I would make sure that I had like a week's worth of time to wait on them because they just they don't do things professionally over there as far as customer service goes which is just kinda strange but like I said guys that was not cheap okay that was not cheap at all that thing was not cheap so that was my experience at Fry's. Like I said, that was the only bad experience I've had with them over the past few years or so. Four or five years, give or take. So, ladies and gentlemen, um, would I go back to Fry's to get stuff? Not as much now. And the only reason I think I'd go back there to get a computer built, but I'm not going to need a computer built. I don't think I'm going to be going back there for a while, but... Uh, it's it's weird. I I used to love going in fries, but now I'm not going to be going in there that much. So, ah, well, that was my experience at fries. I'm glad I got that off my chest, guys. Make this make your pr opinion of this video what you will. I hope you guys haven't had bad experiences with fries. Again, I love fries as a store, but that was just a just unbelievable uh, experience. So, my name is Tony Tornado, ladies and gentlemen, and I love my subscribers.